Hello and welcome back to EU4, where uh, I took a small break and uh, muted my mic and uh, wondered why the mic wasn't sounding any again anymore when I came back. Well, derp. Uh, you might have to unmute the mic if you wanted to pick up any sound again. But uh, anyway, that was... Uh, A bit of a brain fart, um, but uh, yeah. So I I took Bohemia as a vassal in the last episode, and uh, we have also fought Austria. That was a really, really painful war, and if I'm not wrong, no. Uh, we're going to need to have slightly more. I would probably want like four more infantry in every army. So we have an army of like 48 and then probably adding two more. Uh, adding two more uh, artillery bringing it up to 50 uh yeah that th i'm thinking that that is probably what i want to do let's remove that one that's a really bad one that's up as russia to have if you need more, like, f land force limit as Russia, just, like, to the point of where you need to build the buildings, then something is going seriously wrong. Or you're building a sort of a tall version which isn't really in the nature of like it's not in Russia's nature to build the tall at all you could do it it's not impossible it's just not really a good thing to do uh but yeah we probably want to we probably want to uh, do as much stuff as possible when it comes to things like fixing the border uh, like I think we what we need to focus a bit on a stability and economy um, and making sure that our vassal uh, our new vassal bohemia actually likes us a royal marriage is always a good thing to do since it's going to bring us closer and they are going to like us more Um, um, I could vassalize Cord Shin, but I'm not sure if I want to. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not really sure I want to, like, vassalize. I think I'm going to vassalize key, actually. But that's about it. Now, one thing that's actually good about having a maximum absolutism above 100 is that even if your legitimacy goes down below 100 for some reason, regardless of the reason, uh, it means that uh, you're going to get the full benefit of having 100 because you're above 100 and the hard cap is 100. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully we will soon. Yeah, here's the really bad thing about uh, province defection is that his um, limited desire is going to shoot through the roof. That's, uh, I usually uh, try to, I usually try to, um, uh, try to, uh, I usually try to um, uh, do a reconquest war before separatists flip the provinces back to my vassal because yeah but having that massive amount of extra liberty desire is not good. It's actually really bad. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see. Verdon is actually not trusting us that much. So, Bohemia isn't doing uh, trusting us which is understandable so not really faulting that and that's the that's one of the reasons if you're a, a great power you always want to influence your vassals uh for two reasons actually one is the trust goes up by five every time you do it and you get more opinion with them because you influence them and if your vassal have some trouble with monarch power generation you give them plus one in the one they get the least in. So, yeah, it's just in general good overall to influence your vassals, especially your vassals. Uh, it might be that if you have money problems, you might want to stop doing it. But I usually, regardless of how big they get, um, more or less regardless of how big they get I continue to um, I, I just continue to um, 
influence my vassals. Um, now, it is going to cost you a lot of money if uh, the economic base of your vassal is large. So, like, if they earn a lot of money, yeah, it's going to cost you a lot of money to actually influence them. But it is, in general, just in general, worth it. So... Yeah, let's upgrade our military tech to 25. Upgrade to Royal Mortars. Uh, let's continue converting and hopefully... Yeah, I, I want to see if I can... Possibly, build a bunch of stuff. Uh, it has has reached the max amount now. Recall that one and it's not going that well for Sweden, though I'm not surprised considering how we messed them up. Uh, if Sweden like loses Dalaskogen and Stockholm. They are basically destroyed. Uh, they most likely will never, ever uh, uh, bounce back. It's probably never going to go well for them again. Um, if they take like all of Denmark, which Sweden has done here, they can continue surviving, but as what has happened here, um, they have basically no allies and more than one nation is attacking them, which isn't really a good situation for them. Uh... You have a core over there. Yeah, isolated and everything. Stade. Yeah, sure. Let, let's take that one. Uh, since he now has Stade. Uh, he has more connections. I think what we are going to do is actually say to take that one. Because if he can do that, it means uh, he can connect more or less everything. Unless those two. Remove that. Uh, uh, yeah, we now have a key. Can I force you to give that core back? No, no, no. No way. 
you then. Yeah, that's possible. Good. Uh... Cannot threaten more while there is a truce. That is fine. Uh, I wonder what is... No, wrong button. What is... Jan? Jan has 15,000. And he has no allies. So let's uh, just attack. And we are going to do Imperialist. Because at this point, Imperialist... CV is um, the best one. And Genoa. Okay, let's see if we can uh, say I want that. North Hebe. Let's do that one as well. I mean, why not? Okay, we are now in the last... Yeah, trade efficiency plus 20%. Uh, we are now in the last uh, stage of... When it comes to ages. It's the age of revolutions. And... Uh, yeah, we were an emperor. We have a large capital, 50 development. Um, yeah. Let's see. Do I actually have any slave... I have one. Changing that. Let's see. What, what's the actual. Oh, right. Uh, someone actually. Uh, clicked past. Abolish slavery. So. It means we actually get tech cost minus 5%. Now, it means we get missionary strength minus 1. So we actually uh, convert slower. But it's fine. We get... It's too bad about the national tax modify minus 5%. But whatever. And it got livestock. That is actually way better. Because of the modifiers li livestock actually have. Um, so that was a good one. Now, you could actually get anything. Uh, because it's the same as if you colonize the province. So it's basically random what what it is uh, when you do that you can get stuff which is really really good and you can get stuff which is even worse than it was before so it is sort of a gamble if it's going to be good or not See if we can. Oh my god, I, I hate that. Machine is vibrating the whole house. Thank god I have. Uh, right now, I actually have uh, something which. Uh, 
absorbs a lot of uh, vibrations and uh, shocks uh, for the mic. So it's not as bad though. I do apologize if it actually gets through and uh, picked up by the mic. It's not really much I can do about it, sadly. Now, how do we want... Now, that's bad. It's 28% is... Oh, it doesn't matter. He has taken stuff... on uh, of my stuff like my provinces already so it doesn't matter if it takes that capital and we actually haven't done it so there we go Okay, we need to bring our troops down here because, uh, yeah. This is really annoying, uh, especially in uh, China, where there is a lot of different cores. And especially if Ming explodes, as they have in this um, save, it can be very, very annoying to... Um, fix these things. There we go, 100%. And we are going to give... No, I'm going to... Uh, take first. There we go. That's as far as I will go. And... Will I take him as a vassal? Maybe I should consider doing that. I mean, what I could do is... Give this to Key. Give this one to Key. And this one. And this one. And then vassalize, maybe. If we do... What is it that brings it... Brings the diplomatic power so low? Because it was basically down to zero. Which... Yeah, it has to do with... Um... Okay, then never mind. If that's the case, we're just going to... Occupy everything. And... Uh... I think what I'm going to do is actually leave the provinces uh, for which which Jin has cores on. Uh, at the same time, I don't have to deal with uh, his existing troops becoming rebels. So that's um, a plus. And then take all the money and uh, let's uh, give that tongue and 
Luan back and then he's basically a one promise miner uh, military access because I can and there we go uh, this was basically just a bonus war and what we are going to do is I'm going to start all the cores except the these two which is going to go to key and it's Vuding and it is Hai Cheng since I have started them I should be able to continue them even though they are basically isolated don't really care about Korchin to go all the way and actually do anything about them. Um, I have a truce until July with um, Andong can go to key thank you for that now if i'm not wrong uh, uh someone like key cannot uh like the ai can't charter company from a vassal so they can't buy a province from my vassals, for example. If I'm not wrong, of course. Let's spend all our money. Uh, at this point, what we need to do is to start the war against... Um, the Ottomans and since Ajam actually became a vassal of Ottomans it means we can consolidate Tabriz area which is very handy uh, let's give that away uh yeah what we would like to do is to see if we can actually bring all our troops to where they need to be so we are somewhat prepared uh now let's bring one there and then one there one there one oh, there whatever uh one there and then yeah one there being ready for a jam and that's not all of them but most of them we have almost integrated the vassal we're integrating at the moment. It seems like they actually got a province back. Uh, I think they did. Um, regardless. Yeah, Jin Reconquest. Russia owns Jin Core? Oh. Well, whatever. 
And there is the alarm saying we need to end the episode. Um, I think we are going to have to spend a bit more uh, money uh, on uh, universities. Because if we take a look... Yeah, it's not looking very good here uh, when it comes to spread. Uh, because of the massive negatives we have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm still making money despite, despite uh, knowledge sharing. But let's end this episode here. And with that, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.